What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on a new microphone I picked up a couple weeks ago. It's the Comica CVM VM10 microphone. This is a micro compact directional condenser shotgun video microphone. Uh, very similar to the Rode Video Micro. So uh, what we'll do is a quick unboxing, uh, show you guys what it brings, and uh, we'll do a little comparison against the Video Micro and uh, see, see what it's uh, like. So let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so here we have it. This is uh, the box it comes in, uh, Comica CVM VM10. Again, this is a directional condenser shotgun mic. And here's some of the features on the back. It says here it's a cardioid pattern. Uh, it's mini light and professional, low consumption. This mic is like the Rode Video Micro. It's uh, powered by the camera. Super anti-interference, uh, professional shock mount, uh, professional mics. It brings a windscreen and a wind muff. And also here it says it's for uh, smartphones, GoPros, and cameras. Let's take a look inside. Let's make this brief. We have a manual registration or warranty instructions and uh, some notice there. So one of the things that led me to uh, start looking for another mic is on the Ro Rode Video Micro, I've had three of these break already. The shock mount on, on theirs is the Rycoat shock mount. Lose the uh, shock mount, the actual microphone. VM, CVM VM10 on there, it says there. Very similar to the uh, Rode Video Micro, as you can see there. Okay, and here we have, let's see here, two cables. All right, this one says it's for the camera. And this one is to use with your smartphone. So that's pretty cool. It brings you, includes both cables there. Here's your dead cat. When you get the Rode Video Micro, you only get the regular camera cable. And so you have to buy the, the one for the uh, cell phone. It's an additional, I believe, 20, 15, 20 bucks if you use the Rode Video Micro. I like that it includes this windscreen because uh, sometimes on the Rode Video Micro, it only brings the, the big Rode Video uh, Dead Cat, you know? And this thing is huge. So hopefully this thing sounds really good. But I do like this windscreen. Earlier I said this was uh, two shock mounts. It's one shock mount, just has a dual brackets there to hold the mic. And you have your cold shoe mount on the bottom with the uh, uh, the whole thread or the thread here for the uh, tripod to mount it on a tripod and whatnot. These are your regular 3.5 millimeter jacks on both of these cables. And here's the actual dead cap that it brings. It's kind of, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of uh, loose here. I hope it doesn't uh, shed. So, this is the body of the mic, and to install it onto the shoe mount is very easy. It has a a groove there and a groove here and that's where we'll we'll slide these onto there just like that insert it there and you're all set just got to plug the other end into the camera and you're good to go okay guys so so far during the whole video i've been talking to you guys through this lav mic right here that i have hooked up i'm going to unplug it right now and i'm going to put the uh, mic on and uh actually i'm going to talk to you guys here shortly without any mic just using the internal mic so let's do that real quick okay guys so right now i have no microphone connected to the camera this is the internal microphone on the lumix g85 and i'm just going to keep talking so you guys can hear the compare the difference here it should sound pretty bad you could probably hear a lot of background noise uh but i'm going to go ahead and hook up right now the uh comica vm10 mic all right guys so this is the uh comica vm10 on the Lumix G85, I have it mounted on top of the camera here. Uh, it does not have any uh, gain added to it or, or anything like that. I have the wind cut uh, setting completely off. So this is what it sounds like. Uh, I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comments what do you think. So now I'm going to switch over to the Rode Video Micro. Okay guys, so now I have the Rode Video Micro hooked up. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or not. Again, there are no, there's no gain added to the uh, volume. The uh, wind cut uh, setting is completely turned off. And I'm just talking directly into the uh, Rode Video Micro. I'm about two feet away, three feet away max. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is take the camera and the uh, microphones outside. And that way you, can got, you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like outdoors. All right guys, the next couple of shots are gonna be on the Comica mic. And uh, right now, as you can see, I'm driving. And I'm not sure if it's picking up like the noise of, you know, the car running and all that, but 
I thought I'd, I'd throw this little shot in. All right, guys, so I'm here at this restaurant. Uh, I'm about to have some breakfast, but um, just wanted to kind of test it out here. There's people in the background talking. There's music playing. Uh, there's a fan on, so I'm not sure how much of that it's picking up. It is a shot in the mic, and it's supposed to catch the audio directly in front of it, so I'm gonna turn the microphone around and see uh, how the volume drops. So I'm talking and uh, just turning the camera around to see if we can tell the difference there. And it should have went down a little bit there, but uh, I'll have to wait and see until I review. Um, and by the way, breakfast is here. <laughs> So, be back in a few. All right, guys, let's record a little bit of ambient noise. So, I'm gonna go over here where that water's at. I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and I'll set it up with the Comica and then I'll do one with, with the Rode Video Micro and that way we can compare how that sounds. All right, we have the Comica mic on. I'm about five feet away again from the microphone and this is the comica mic. Got the water behind me. Test to get out. Alright, so we have the road video micro on. I'm about five feet away from the camera. Testing one, two, three. Got the background noise behind me. So I'm just going to walk here a little bit, just move around the camera, see if the uh, shock mount actually does its job. I did a complete vlog. It's a Philadelphia vlog. I'll link it so you guys can check it out. That, that entire vlog was recorded with the uh, Comica mic. You want to check it out, but this is just a little sampling of me walking around uh, with the microphone, or excuse me, the Comica on to see if we catch any, uh, you know, weird sounds when I'm moving the mic like the way I am right now. All right, guys, another test I'm going to do is just a couple quick shots. I'm going to connect the microphone to see what it sounds like with an action camera. In this case, it's the Yi 4K uh, Plus action camera. I'm going to plug it in. So let's switch over to this camera and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, I'm recording on the Yi 4K Plus camera. If you can see a little bit of the uh, dead cat in the frame, I apologize. This is an action camera, and it's a really wide angle. So, And this dead cat is very... Very hairy. Anyways, this is what it sounds like on the E4K, and I have the setting to high. And um, now I'm just outdoors here, as you can see at the park. All right, guys, one more. I decided to change the setting on the E4K Plus to the low setting on the audio recording or the uh, microphone setting. So this is the uh, E4K Plus with the Comica mic. At uh, the setting is on low for the uh, microphone. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk over here by the river and just take a couple quick shots there and wrap it up it's really hot out here and i'm again vlogging with the uh comica microphone on here so let's just go over here and take a few more shots of the river and peace out okay guys we're recording with the comica and uh, right now it's really windy uh, as you can see uh, we got the camera set up here by the uh, river and uh, this is uh, a good test on uh, you know as far as with wind goes Okay guys, here we have the uh, Rode Video Micro on. Again, good test here to compare against the uh, Comica in a windy situation out here by the river. Okay guys, I'm back at the house. I just finished reviewing some of the footage and all that. Uh, I really, I'm really impressed with this little microphone. I really like it. I have to be honest. I think it is a great value because everything that you're, you're getting for it, obviously you're getting a nice carrying case, which protects the microphone. You get the two cables. You get the cable for the camera, the one for the mobile phone, which is a plus versus with the Rode mic, you have to buy that separately and that's like an additional 15 or 20 bucks. I do like that the, uh, the microphone, it sounds really good in my opinion. I'm not going to say that it's better than the Rode mic because in certain shots, I thought that the Rode mic uh, had like a more clear the audio sounded just better but uh, for instance the uh, where I was shooting with the water I thought in that shot that the mic picked up uh, it was more clear the audio was more clear with the road mic I don't know you guys let me know I'm, I may be wrong when I was shooting earlier at the beginning of the video uh, the talking head shots you could clearly hear the background uh, or excuse me the uh, air conditioning in the background on both the road and the uh, the comical mic but I still think uh, it's it's a great it's a great little mic it's compact it's it's very lightweight it's it's really similar to the Rode video micro 
and it's an all aluminum uh, uh, body and it's a cardioid pattern mic, uh, it's a directional mic so it's meant to keep background noise out as much as possible. Uh, so I really like it, I think it's a great vlogging mic uh, if you want to upgrade uh, or improve your audio on your, on your videos. This is a great option. If you really need to, to have that extra cable and you don't want to spend more money, then I'd go with this one over the, the Rode Video Micro because like I said, you have to buy that separately. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it is a really good option. So I'm very happy with this mic. I'm going to be keeping it. Uh, I'm going to use both of them. Also, guys, just want to say the dead cat on this microphone is pretty bad. It's, it sheds a lot. So if there's anything that I have to really negative about this whole uh, mic, it's got to be the dead cat. I mean, it's just it's just a bad quality. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate the support. And also, if you could share the video on social media, that would be great. If you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe button. I'd appreciate the support as well. And uh, turn on the uh, click on the bell so you can get uh, notified uh, for my next upload or my, my next videos. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.